Now, when we're talking about prehistoric apex predators, we all think the same thing, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And although America may claim the most famous predator of all time, it might surprise you to know that it's a country only a third of the size of the US that boasts the largest number of giant apex predators. This country is Argentina. Now, when I say giant apex predators, I mean giant apex predators. You have the colossal Giganotosaurus, a bloodthirsty beast that could even rival the T-Rex. Then, the swift and terrifying Carnotaurus, similarly built, but with a more muscular build and protruding bull-like horns. And how can we forget the infamous Megaraptor, a deadly killer with massive claws designed to slice through prey? Argentina produced some of the most famous flesh-eating theropods found on the planet which is why it's so surprising to find out that some of Argentina's lesser-known theropods may have even been more deadly than the more famous counterparts. Take the Maposaurus, for example. Some believe they may have hunted in packs. This six-ton giant still had the possibility of bringing down the largest animal to ever exist. Or what about the Austroraptor Cabazai, one of the largest raptors ever known, rivaling Utah Raptor in size and power and blending speed and strength to create the perfect hunter? Argentina had some of the biggest and most powerful apex predators that ever existed, and I can think of no better example of this than the Tyranno Titan. This dinosaur's name literally means Tyrant Titan, and for good reason. At over 40 feet long, weighing over 7 tons, it was a true monster. Size estimates vary, however, most paleontologists consider Tyranno Titan to have been one of the largest meat eating dinosaurs known to science. Living 120 million years ago in the early Cretaceous, it ruled its environment with no equal, preying on massive sauropods like the Chubutosaurus, using its brute strength to overpower anything that crossed its path. It was closely related to Giganotosaurus, but Tyranno Titan was not a Giganotosaurus copy its teeth tell a different story. While the Giganotosaurus had thin, blade-like teeth designed to slice through flesh, Tyrannotitan's teeth were shorter, thicker, and far more robust. This suggests it didn't just cut through its prey, it could crush bone with devastating bites. Its hunting strategy was likely different as well. Rather than chasing prey over long distances like Giganotosaurus, Tyrannotitan may have relied on ambush tactics, using its immense size and power to overwhelm victims in close combat. There is actual proof of these monsters feeding on giant sauropods, as 57 Tyrannotitan teeth were found associated with Patagotitan remains, indicating that it scavenged from the bodies of these giants after they had died, as well as probably actively hunting their young and old. This Tyrant Titan was a nightmare on legs, and yet Tyrannotitan wasn't the most unusual predator in Argentina, that title might just belong to the Austroraptor Cabazai. Thanks to movies like Jurassic World, raptors have become some of the most iconic dinosaurs of all time. They're fast, intelligent, and lethal. Everything you want in a terrifying predator. But while Velociraptor and Utah Raptor get most of the attention, Argentina had its own massive raptor, one that deserves just as much recognition, the Austroraptor Cabazai. Size estimates vary, but paleontologists suggest it was around 20 feet long and weighing over 800 pounds, making Osteoraptor one of the largest dromaeosaurids known, making it an absolute menace in the late Cretaceous. Unlike most raptors, which had long, grasping arms, Osteoraptor had surprisingly short arms, almost T-Rex-like in proportion. Scientists still aren't sure why. Was it more reliant on its powerful bite than its arms for hunting? Fossil evidence suggests Orsoraptor may have been a skilled fisher as well, using its long, narrow snout and conical teeth to snatch prey from the rivers and lakes. But its sheer size also suggests it hunted small dinosaurs or even juvenile sauropods. This raptor was built for speed, precision, and power. A perfect predator proving that raptors were far more diverse than we often think. And if we're talking about coordinated killers, nothing compares to the Maposaurus, a six-ton monster built to hunt the largest land animal in history. Closely related to the Giganotosaurus, Mapusaurus was just as massive, reaching 40 feet long and weighing over 6 tons. But its true power wasn't in just its size, it was how it hunted as well. Unlike most large theropods, Mapusaurus is one of the only ones believed to have hunted in packs. Fossil evidence found in Argentina shows remains of up to seven individuals discovered in a bone bed together, strongly suggesting they lived and hunted side by side. But what could they possibly hunt that required teamwork? 
Pack hunting could have allowed Mapusaurus to prey on the biggest known dinosaur, the Argentinosaurus. This was a 100 foot long, 70 ton titan, 10 times heavier than the Mapusaurus, so it was nearly untouchable by any single predator. A fully grown healthy adult would have been ridiculously dangerous to attempt to kill. A single tail swipe or stomp could have been fatal, so they likely targeted the weak, young, old or injured individuals. However, paleontologists have suggested if any animal was capable of taking down a fully grown Argentinosaurus, it would have been the Mapusaurus, using teamwork to isolate and overwhelm their massive prey, targeting vulnerable areas like the neck or abdomen. Each predator, as long as a school bus, working together to bring down a behemoth. This wasn't just a predator, this was a strategic, coordinated killer, proving that intelligence and teamwork were just as deadly as brute strength. But let us know in the comments below, what do you feel was the most underrated dinosaur of all time?